Hey everyone, it's Deanna. Today, we're diving into a creepy crime story. Stick around for the chilling details. In the early years of the new millennium, Long Guyan and Hong Lei made a life-altering decision to embark on a journey to the United States, seeking a fresh start and the promise of a brighter future. Little did they anticipate that their pursuit of the American dream would ultimately lead to a tragic and unimaginable end. Setting their sights on Arlington, Texas as their new home, the Nguyen Lee family, accompanied by their loved ones, aspired to forge a path toward a more fulfilling and prosperous life. Arlington, renowned for its diverse community and vibrant culture, appeared to be the perfect backdrop for the Nguyen Lee family to establish their roots and weave the fabric of their American dream. They delved into the community, driven by a determination to build a life filled with success and prosperity. With an entrepreneurial spirit, the family founded a commercial sewing business, pouring their energy and dedication into making it a thriving venture. Through hard work and resilience, they endeavored to overcome challenges and carve out a niche in their chosen community. Little did they know that their journey, marked by hope and ambition, would take an unforeseen turn, leading them down a path tinged with tragedy. Despite the unforeseen financial challenges in 2011, the Nguyen Lee family exemplified remarkable resilience. Rather than succumbing to adversity, they faced the difficulties head-on employing creativity and determination to navigate the troubled waters. In doing so, they not only overcame the temporary setback, but also emerged stronger, fortified by the lessons learned during this trying period. The family's response to the financial downturn showcased their adaptability and resourcefulness. Perhaps they diversified their business strategies, explored new markets, or implemented cost-saving measures to weather the economic storm. The challenging times became a crucible for innovation and strategic thinking, as the Nguyen Lee family sought out alternative avenues for growth and stability. Amidst the uncertainties, the family likely leaned on their tight-knit community in Arlington for support. The bonds forged with neighbors, friends, and fellow entrepreneurs would have been a source of encouragement and shared wisdom reinforcing the notion that resilience is not a solitary endeavor, but a collective strength drawn from the support of those around you. As the Nguyen Lee family navigated the twists and turns of their entrepreneurial journey, their commitment to hard work remained unwavering. This dedication, coupled with newfound insights from overcoming financial challenges, contributed to the family's resurgence. They might have seized opportunities for further innovation, expanded their network, and honed their business acumen, ensuring that setbacks served as stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. In the subsequent years, the Nguyen Lee family story continued to evolve, marked by a tapestry woven with threads of persistence, adaptability, and community support. Their journey mirrored the broader narrative of many immigrant families in America, marked by both adversity and triumph, embodying the spirit of perseverance that is integral to the American dream. Through their experiences, the Nguyen Lee family not only contributed to the diverse mosaic of the American narrative, but also demonstrated that true success is measured not only in triumphs, but in the ability to navigate and learn from the inevitable tribulations that accompany the pursuit of a better life in a new land. Confronted with the harsh realities of financial strain, the family found themselves in a challenging predicament. In their quest for a solution, a deep-seated belief in the influence of special spirits for good luck and protection led them to seek the guidance of Defnerite. Cha Tran, the son-in-law and the public face of the family business, made a chilling call to 911, urgently requesting a welfare check on his in-laws. What unfolded in the aftermath of this distress call was a horrifying crime scene that sent shockwaves not only through the Nguyen Lee family, but also reverberated throughout the Arlington community and beyond. The victims, Long Nguyen, 72 years old, and Hong Lai, 63 years old, had met a gruesome and untimely end, bound, beaten, and suffocated. 
The sheer brutality of the crime left investigators in a state of disbelief. The couple's apartment painted a grim picture of a life-and-death struggle, with evidence of a violent attack evident from the very moment they entered their home. The crime scene, meticulously staged, revealed unsettling details, including hints of drug paraphernalia and a bandana, suggesting potential involvement with gangs. This chilling incident not only marked a profound loss for the Nguyen Lee family, but also cast a dark shadow over the entire community, prompting questions and speculation about the motives and circumstances surrounding this heinous act. The carefully orchestrated crime scene added an element of mystery leaving investigators grappling with the complexities of a case that had far-reaching implications for all those touched by the lives of Long Nguyen and Han Lai. As the investigators looked into what happened, they found out something really troubling. The Nguyen Lee family, dealing with money problems, got into a huge debt of $280,000 because of their dealings with Defnerite. She claimed she could use mystical powers to solve their issues but things didn't get better, and their money situation kept getting worse. Daphne Wright, who said she could remove curses and help with spiritual stuff, became a big part of the family's hope for a better life. But despite her promises, their bad luck continued, and Sha Tran, especially, ended up stuck in a mess of debt and feeling really hopeless. It's like they were hoping for a magic solution, but instead, things got even more complicated. The family trusted Defna Wright to make things better, but it turned out she couldn't help, and now they were in even more trouble than before. Cha Tran, being the face of the family business, felt the weight of it all, and the debt just seemed to pile up, making their situation harder and harder to handle. As the intricate layers of the Nguyen Lee family's narrative unfolded, the depths of desperation and the pursuit of a way out became even more pronounced. Cha Tran's decision to turn to Defn Wright for assistance, viewing it as a potential escape from their financial woes, revealed the extent of their desperation and the belief that this unconventional solution was the only means to break free from what seemed like an insurmountable curse. The gravity of the family's plight deepened when Cha Tran, grappling with the escalating financial pressures, resorted to using the sewing business's credit card to pay Defna Wright. This ill-fated decision not only exacerbated their monetary struggles, but also intertwined their fate further with that of Defna Wright, creating a web of financial entanglement from which escape seemed increasingly elusive. The investigation took a startling turn with the revelation of a life insurance policy worth a million dollars. Cha Tran's connection as their son-in-law added a sinister layer to the unfolding tragedy, as it became apparent that the motive behind the heinous murders was driven by a calculated plan to secure the insurance money. The sinister plot appeared to be a desperate attempt to extricate the family from the clutches of debt, with the insurance payout seemingly positioned as the lifeline to settle the significant financial burden owed to Defna Wright. The Nguyen Lee family's story, initially marked by resilience and the pursuit of a better life, now took a dark turn, exposing the harsh realities of financial desperation and the extreme measures some may take when faced with seemingly insurmountable challenges. The narrative unfolded as a cautionary tale, underscoring the profound impact of financial strain and the lengths to which individuals might go in pursuit of relief from an overwhelming burden. In the aftermath of these shocking revelations, the Nguyen Lee family's tale became a tragic tableau, illustrating the fragility of the human spirit under the weight of financial despair and the unforeseen consequences that can arise when desperation drives individuals to make choices that defy morality and the bonds of family. In simpler words, Cha Tran believed Defn Wright could fix their problems, so he used the family business's credit card to pay her. But things got worse, and they owed a lot of money to Wright. Then, the investigators found out the family had insurance, and Cha Tran could get a lot of money from it. It looked like the murders were part of a plan to get the insurance money and pay back the money they owed to Defna Wright. In a gripping courtroom saga that had the entire Tarrant County on edge, 
Daphne Wright found herself on trial for capital murder and solicitation of capital murder. The courtroom drama unfolded like a nail-biting story, with the prosecution weaving a tale of a spiritual advisor turned schemer, preying upon a family already grappling with desperation. As the prosecutor passionately presented the case against Daphne Wright, the courtroom became a theater of justice, with each revelation underscoring the calculated and cold-blooded nature of the orchestrated murders. The narrative painted by the prosecution revealed a web of deceit and desperation, wherein Wright had allegedly exploited the vulnerable Nguyenli family to settle a debt that had spiraled out of control. Throughout the trial, the air in the courtroom was thick with tension as the prosecution meticulously laid out the evidence supporting their claim of Wright's role as the mastermind behind the sinister plot. The story unfolded like a tragic drama, exposing the vulnerability of a family in distress and the lengths to which one individual went to alleviate her financial troubles. As the legal proceedings continued, the county held its collective breath, waiting for the culmination of the trial, a verdict that would determine the fate of Daphne Wright. The courtroom, a microcosm of justice, became a focal point where the community sought closure for the heinous crimes committed against Long Nguyen and Han Lai. Finally, the fateful day arrived, and a Tarrant County jury delivered a decisive verdict. Daphne Wright was found guilty of orchestrating the 2012 murders. The charges of capital murder and solicitation of capital murder were affirmed, marking a solemn moment of justice served. While the legal system had spoken, it could never fully mend the emotional wounds inflicted on the Nguyenli family and the community at large. The trial's conclusion signaled the beginning of a new chapter in the aftermath of this tragedy. The scars left by the calculated plot and the loss of a beloved couple would forever linger, a stark reminder of the fragility of human life and the devastating consequences of succumbing to desperation and moral compromise. The heart-wrenching saga of Long Nguyen and Hong Lai stands as a poignant reminder of the vulnerability that can accompany the pursuit of the American dream. In contemplating this tragic narrative, it becomes imperative for us, as a community, to remain vigilant against those who would exploit the desperation of others for personal gain. The story of the Nguyen Lee family underscores the importance of empathy and support for those facing adversity, rather than allowing vulnerability to be manipulated by those with malicious intentions. As the trial brought the disturbing details of this case to light, it serves as a stark reminder of the need for resilience in the face of adversity and the importance of fostering a community that looks out for its members. The pursuit of a better life should never lead to a situation where individuals feel compelled to resort to extreme measures due to financial distress. In the aftermath of the trial, the community must find solace in the fact that justice was rightfully served. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that no legal proceeding can fully erase the profound pain and loss experienced by the Nguyen Lee family and the broader community. As we reflect on this tragedy, let us renew our commitment to compassion, understanding, and collective support, ensuring that no one is driven to such desperate measures in their pursuit of a brighter future. May the memory of Long Nguyen and Hong Lai serve as a lasting testament to the resilience of the human spirit, and may their tragic story inspire a collective determination to build a community where individuals can overcome challenges without resorting to the exploitation of others. In honoring their memory, let us strive for a society where the pursuit of dreams is met with compassion and solidarity, rather than becoming a source of vulnerability in the hands of those with nefarious intentions. Thanks for joining today's crime journey. I'm Diana, your guide in the shadows. Subscribe, hit the bell, and let's keep exploring mysteries together. Stay curious, stay alert, and see you next time. Take care.